Good morning and welcome to the benefits of Canterbury, St Dunstan, St Mildred and St Peter where you join us for our service of morning prayer on Friday the 18th of June 2020 a rather damp morning in these parts. My name is John Morrison and I have the privilege of standing in for the uh, rector, the Reverend Joe Richards, and uh, in the calendar of the Church of England, we are asked to commemorate Bernard Mizeki, Apostle of the Mishona and Martyr, 1896. I beg your pardon. Born in Portuguese East Africa, Bernard Mazeki went to work in Cape Town and there he was converted to the Christian faith by the Cowley Fathers. He then gave his life as a translator and an evangelist among the Mashona in what is present day Zimbabwe. He was murdered on this day in 1896 in a tribal uprising and is revered throughout Central Africa as a witness to the Gospel of Christ. The Venite, a song of triumph. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving and be glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth and the heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have moulded the dry land. Come, let us worship and bow down and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, we are his people, the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The refrain for Psalm 51, starting at the first verse, is the sacrifice of God is a broken spirit. The sacrifice of God is a broken spirit. Have mercy on me, O God, in your great goodness, according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my offences. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my faults, and my sin is ever before me. Again, you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight so that you are justified in your sentence and righteous in your judgment. The sacrifice of God is a broken spirit. I have been wicked even from my birth, a sinner where my mother conceived me. Behold, you desire truth deep within me and shall make me understand wisdom in the depths of my heart. Purge me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear of joy and gladness that the bones you have broken may rejoice. The sacrifice of God is a broken spirit. Turn your face from all my sins and blot out all my misdeeds. Make me, clean, make me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me again the joy of your salvation, and sustain me with your gracious Spirit. Then shall I teach your ways to the wicked, 
and sinners shall return to you. The sacrifice of God is a broken spirit. Deliver me from my guilt, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing of your righteousness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. For you desire no, satis no sacrifice, else I would give it. You take no delight in burnt offerings. The sacrifice of God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. O God, you will not despise. The sacrifice of God is a broken spirit. O be faithful, favourable and gracious to Zion, build up the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will accept sacrifices offered in righteousness, the burnt offerings and oblations. Then they shall offer up bulls on your altar. The sacrifice of God is a broken spirit. Take away, good Lord, the sin that corrupts us. Give us the sorrow that heals and the joy that praises and restore by grace your own image within us that we may take our place among your people in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The refrain for Psalm 54, starting at the first verse, is Behold, God is my helper. Behold, God is my helper. Save me, O God, by your name, and vindicate me by your power. Hear my prayer, O God, give heed to the words of my mouth. For strangers have risen up against me, and the ruthless seek after my life. They have not set God before them. Behold, God is my helper. It is the Lord who upholds my life. Behold, God is my helper. May evil rebound on those who lie in wait for me. Destroy them in your faithfulness. An offering of a free heart will I give you, and praise your name, O Lord, for it is gracious. For he has delivered me out of all my trouble, and my eye has seen the downfall of my enemies. Behold, O God is my helper, O living God. Reach through the violence of the proud and the despair of the weak to create in Jesus Christ a people free to praise your holy name now and forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our first scripture reading this morning is continuing with Job, this time chapter 24. Why are times not kept by the Almighty, and why do those who know him never see his days? The wicked remove landmarks, they seize flocks and pasture them, they drive away the donkey of the orphan, they take the widow's ox for a pledge. They thrust the needy off the road, the poor of the earth all hide themselves. Like wild asses in the desert, they go out into their toil. Their toil. Scavenging in the wasteland, food for their young. They reap in a field not their own, and they glean in the vineyard of the wicked. They lie all night naked without clothing, and have no covering in the cold. They are wet with the rain of mountains, and cling to the rock for want of shelter. There are those who snatch the orphan child from the breast, and take as a pleasure, as, as a pledge, the infant of the poor. They go about naked without clothing, Though hungry, they carry, in she carry the sheaves. Between their terraces, they press out oil. They tread the wine presses, but suffer thirst from the city of the dying groan. And the throat of the wounded cries for help. Yet God pays no attention to their prayer. There are those who rebel against the light, who are not acquainted with its ways and do not stay in its paths. The murderer rises at dusk to kill the poor and needy, and in the night is like a thief. The eye of the adulterer also awaits for the twilight. 
saying, No eye will see me. And he disguises his face. In the dark, they dig through houses. The day they shut themselves up, they do not know the light. For deep darkness is morning to all of them, for they are friends with the terrors of deep darkness. Swift are they on the face of the waters, their portion in the land is cursed. No treader turns towards their vineyards, drought and heat snatch away the snow waters. So does Sheol, those who have sinned. The womb forgets them, the worm finds them sweet. They are no longer remembered, so wickedness is broken like a tree. They harm the childless woman, and they do no good to the widow. Yet God prolongs the life of the mighty by his power. They rise up when they despair of life. He gives them security, and they are supported. His eyes are upon their ways. They are exalted a little while, and then are gone. They wither and fade like the mallow. They are cut off like the heads of grain. It is not so. If it is not so, who will prove me a liar and show me that there is nothing in what I say? A song of humility as our canticle. Raise us up, O God, that we may live in your presence. Come, let us return to the Lord, who has torn us and will heal us. God has stricken us and will bind up our wounds. After two days he will revive us, and on the third day will raise us up, that we may live in his presence. Let us strive to know the Lord. His appearing is as sure as the sunrise. He will come to us like the showers, like the spring rains that water the earth. O Ephraim, how shall I deal with you? How shall I deal with you, O Judah? Your love for me is like the morning mist, like the dew that goes early away. Therefore I have hewn them by the prophets, and my judgment goes forth as the light. For loyalty is my desire and not sacrifice, and the knowledge of God rather than burnt offerings. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Raise us up, O God, that we may live in your presence. Our second scripture reading is from Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 11, starting at the first verse. I ask, then, as God re has God rejected his people? By no means. I myself am an Israelite a descendant of Abraham, a member of the tribe of Benjamin. God has not rejected his people whom he foreknew. Do you not know what the scripture says of Elijah, how he pleads with God against Israel? Lord, they have killed your prophets, they have demolished your altars. I alone am left, and they are seeking my life. But what is the divine reply to him? I have kept for myself 7,000 who have not no bowed the knee to Baal. So too, at the present time, there is a remnant chosen by grace. But it is by grace, it is no longer on the basis of works. Otherwise, grace would no longer be grace. What then? Israel failed to obtain what it was seeking. The elect obtained it, but the rest were hardened, as it is written. God gave them a sluggish spirit, eyes that would not see and ears that would not hear, down to this very day. And David says, Let their table become a snare and a trap, a stumbling block and a retribution for them. Let their eyes be darkened so they cannot see. Keep their backs forever bent. So I ask, have they stumbled so as to fall? By no means. But through their stumbling, salvation has come to the Gentiles, so as to make Israel jealous. Now, if their stumbling 
means riches for the world, and if their defeat means riches for Gentiles, how much more will their full inclusion mean? Forsake me not, O Lord, be not far from me, O my God. Forsake me not, O Lord, be not far from me, O my God. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Be not far from me, O my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Forsake me not, O Lord, be not far from me, O my God. Our Gospel Canticle again this morning is the Benedictus, the Song of Zechariah. Give your people knowledge of salvation, O God, by the forgiveness of all their sins. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Give your people knowledge of salvation, O God, by the forgiveness of all their sins. We pray, gracious God, today for all our tasks, for all that we must set about doing in your name. We are representatives of the faith of your presence, your creation. And in this creation we ask that the world and its needs be given a priority, that we can help one another, the richer for the poorer, the north for the south. And we ask that in this generosity, the church and the life of the church reign supreme. Today we're asked to remember Her Majesty the Queen, the Royal Family, members of Parliament and our armed forces. We focus on our armed forces that they may be used to bring justice and peace throughout the world. We pray especially for those who work, work for peace and reconciliation and all those whose lives are devastated by war and civil war. And finally, we ask your blessing, Lord, today on prisoners and as we join the refugee session this morning in the diocese and with Bishop Rose we ask for our your special concern for refugees and finally we ask for your blessing on the work of our rector as chaplain to the homeless who was affirmed last night by the Canterbury Deanery Synod for the work that she's been doing for the past seven years and into the future. The Collect of the Day. Lord, you have taught us 
that all our doings without love are nothing worth. Send your Holy Spirit and pour into our hearts that most excellent gift of love, the true bond of peace and of all virtues, without which, which whoever lives is counted dead before you. Grant this for your only Son, Jesus Christ's sake, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence, as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining us for our service of morning prayer. If you are able... We have a service of night prayer or compline this evening at six o'clock. Otherwise, the rector will be back with you after our Sunday services on Monday morning, where she will conduct a benefice service of morning prayer. In this slightly gloomy day, have a lovely day, and I look forward to seeing you in the near future. God bless and bye for now.